Hello, my beautiful, beautiful students. Uh, welcome to Let's Learn Some Spanish with Mariana. I am Mariana Lopez and I am very happy to be part of your journey and let's learn some Spanish. So today I want to start with regular verbs and I want you to have something in your mind and I want, I, I want you to keep this in your mind. This is simple. Regular verbs are simple. They might not look simple at the beginning, but once you learn all those rules, easy. So don't worry about it. At the beginning, it might take some time, but you know what? Keep this in mind. This is simple. Fácil. Esto es fácil. Esto es fácil. Keep that in your mind. That's the mindset that you have to have for this uh, for these uh, conjugations. So. Today we're going to focus on learning regular verbs, the conjugations with each person in present tense, okay? There are a few rules that you have to follow and the main thing that you need to know for regular verbs, for one second, I have three verbs here. I have one verb that ends with a, another verb that ends with er, and the third verb that ends with ir. Every single verb in Spanish, in infinitive ends with a, er, ir. Any verb, it doesn't matter if it's regular or irregular, every single verb ends with a, er, ir. First thing that you need to know. Okay, so here I have, let me put myself here, okay. <laughs> here I have the persons, the personal pronouns. I have yo, which is I, yo. Tu, you. Él, ella, él, he, ella, she, usted, which is the formal you uh, in Spanish. We use it when we are referring to someone that is older than us or someone that we need to show some respect, for example, in a workplace or, or when you are in a, um, going for a job interview or if you meet the queen, you need to use usted. The older you get, the less you have to use it. And let's be honest, in Mexico, I am from Mexico, but in any um, Spanish speaking country, uh, when you're in your 30s and people start telling you usted esto, usted, 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 it kind of makes you feel old. So you need to be careful when you use it. It's not disrespectful. It, it's actually very respectful. Uh, but if you tell, um, if you speak that way to young people, they will feel old. And if you speak uh, with U to older people, they might feel that you need to show more respect. And, and so, so this, you kind of have to feel it. When to use to and when to use usted. Uh, some people even uh, in Colombia, some people um, talk that way to their own family. So. It's, it's, it's all about how you grew up and how do you feel comfortable with speaking with people. Okay, then we have the plural pronouns. We have nosotros, we, ustedes, you guys, you all, and we have ellos, ellos, they. Okay, another thing that I want you to keep in mind. In Spanish, all the plurals, when they are a mixed plural, we go for the masculine way. So, ellos is not necessarily all men, they, all men. Ellos could be uh, men and women. And then if they are only they, but only women, then I would say ellas. So, yo, I, tú, you. Él, he, ella, she, we don't have it. So if you have a, a if you're talking about a thing that it's a, a feminine noun, then you would go for the conjugation for ella because we don't have it. And if it's a masculine noun, but it's a thing, like for example, el libro, the book, it's in, uh, it's it's a masculine noun, so it's el how we conjugate it. Usted, the formal you, nosotros, we or nosotras if it's only women. Ustedes, you guys, you all, and this applies for men, for women. You guys, you all, could be only women. And ellos or ellas, they. Okay, so the rules for these persons. I like to think about all of these people, all the personal pronouns, as a family. For me, they are a family, you know, yo, tu, él, ella. It's one big family. So, in a family, 
Everyone has their single personality and I want you to think about these conjugations as the personality of each family member that you'll see here. So let's start with yo and we'll work with these three verbs. So yo, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that it ends with an O. Regular verbs in present tense, it ends with an O. So for example, amar, what you have to do and the only thing that you have to do when you conjugate the, the, the a regular verb with the first person yo is that you only the only thing that you have to do is remove those last two letters of the verb in infinitive. So those last two letters are always ar, er, ir. So what you have to do with amar is that you remove ar and then you put an o instead. So it would be yo amo. Yo amo. So I replace the R for an O. Now, comer. Okay, so we have comer here. Comer. And what do I do? I remove this. And what do I do? I put an O. So, comer, it will be yo como. And then, vivir. <laughs> Same thing. Vivir. I remove ir. And I put a note. So, yo vivo. That's it. Facile, right? Very simple. So, yo ends with a no. You remove the last two letters and you put an O instead of those two letters. So, amar, amo, comer, como, vivir, vivo. Okay, now, tú. Tú, tú always ends with an S. That's how you can identify him. Tu is like this, tu is a cool family member, you know? Tu is that like, tu is informal, but, but, he's, but he's not rude, and he ends with an S, you know? And S, it's a singular and informal. So, for the ver verbs that end with ar, for the regular verbs that end with ar, like amar, what we have to do with tu is that we remove the ar, the last ar, and you put an S instead. That's it. So for amar, we have amar here. What do I do? I remove the R mm -hmm. and then I put an S. So tu amas. Simple, right? Now comer, same thing. You remove the R and you put an S. So tu comes. Mm -hmm. And then vivir. Okay. So same thing, the exact same thing. So tu is the person in present tense for the regular verbs that you only have to remove the R and put an S instead. But for the regular verbs that end with ir, you add a little bit of something. So verbs that end with ir usually have a vowel change except for one person that we will see right now. So vivir, yes, we have vivir here. Mm -hmm. You remove the R and you put an S, that is true, but you also do a vowel change. So that vowel change means that you change the, I'll say it in English so that you understand, you change the I and put an E instead, which in Spanish would be you change the E and put an E instead. So this is our vowel change. So this is a constant that you will be seeing here as you learn this. So E, vowel change. So you switch the E for an E and then you keep the rule. You remove the R and you put an S. Okay, so far so good? Okay, muy bien. Now, él, ella, and usted. Okay, these three persons have this, the exact same conjugation. So, él, ella, usted, same conjugation. Sometimes when you are uh, talking, uh, for example, with these two persons, yo and tú, Mm, the conjugation, the way you conjugate the verb is already telling you the person. So the way you conjugate any verb for the first person yo, for example, amo, that doesn't apply to any other person. So if you say amo, or if you say como, or if you say vivo, it necessarily means yo. No one else is doing that action. So sometimes it's repetitive to say yo amo, yo 
como? We don't actually, I mean, we don't need it. So you don't have to say it. So you can just say amo and I know it's yo. And the same with tú. You can just say uh, amas and I know it's tú. You don't need to be that specific. You can be, it's not incorrect, but it's not that common for us to speak that way. So mm, try not to do it that much unless you want to give an emphasis to it. Now for él, ella and usted, we do um, we, we, we do the same conjugation for these three different persons. So sometimes if the context is telling us what person we're talking about, we don't need to be specific, but sometimes we do. So what we have to do with él, ella and usted, fácil, 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 you remove the R. You remove the R, fácil. So amar, I have amar here, I remove the R. <laughs> and then is ama, él ama, ella ama, usted ama. Okay, now, comer. What do I have to do? You tell me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, comer, I have it here. I remove the R. Usted come, él come, ella come. Now, vivir. Same thing, same rule. The, the, the verbs that end with ir don't change the rule. They just add a little bit of something. That vowel change. So vivir, I have vivir here. So I remove the R. Mm -hmm. And I also do the vowel change. So it will be usted vive, él vive, ella vive. Okay. So far so good? Okay. Muy bien. Ok, now, nosotros. Ok, nosotros. Let's talk about nosotros. Nosotros, and this is a constant that you will see when we study uh, past tenses and irregular verbs. I told you that this is a family, and that's how I see these people, as a big family. As I told you, every fam family member has their own personality. So, nosotros is the old family member. You know, it's, it's that family member, it's like the uncle, the, the old uncle, you know, that family member that, that doesn't like change that much, that is kind of old and, you know, back in his time, things were lived differently. So he's willing to change, you know, the world is evolving. So he's willing to do a change, but just one. He's not willing to do more than one change. So for nosotros, this vowel change that we've been doing with ir doesn't apply because nosotros is old, so he, he, he cannot change that much. So envision him like that. So nosotros is super simple because what you have to do with nosotros is simple, fácil. You remove the R and you put mos instead and that's it. You remove the R and you put mos. That's it. No vowel change. He's changing. Nosotros is changing. He's willing to give the family. He's doing it for the family, but he won't do an R change. So, very fácil. So, amar, mm, I don't have much space, so I'll just keep this in mind. I'll put it small. Nosotros, mos. I hope you can see. <laughs> okay, so for amar, we remove the R. Mm -hmm. And then what we do? You, we put mos. So, nosotros or nosotras amamos. Comer, same thing. We remove the R and nosotros comemos. And vivir, no vowel change for nosotros. This is the only one that is, doesn't take it. He's not doing a vowel change. So, nosotros vivimos. Fácil, right? So, vowel change, vowel change, ah, uh, no, nosotros no. So, he does one change. Remove the R and put mos. Fácil, okay? And ustedes and ellos. So, as we saw with usted, él, and ella, same conjugation, that same rule applied for ustedes and ellos. Ustedes, you guys, you all, ellos, ellas, they, they have the same, different persons, but they have the same conjugation. So what you have to do is, whoosh, sorry, <laughs> okay, what you have to do for this is, you see that the S is singular for plural, the N is plural. So ustedes and ellos are the persons that the regular verb in present tense ends with an N. So, Amar, 
very facile. Remove the R and put an N. Aman. Facile. So, tú, for tú, amar, remove the R and put an S. Amas. For ustedes and ellos, amar, remove the R, aman. So, this is telling you this is plural. The N is plural. The S is singular. The N is plural. Okay. So, comer, same thing. What do I have to do? You tell me. Comer what? You remove the R and then what? You put an N. So, comer. Comen. Muy bien. And then, vivir. Okay. So, tell me. What do we have to do with vivir? <laughs> okay. Same thing. We have this rule. We remove the R and put an N. And then, we also do a vowel change. Remember, the vowel change is a constant with the verbs that end with ir. Except for nosotros. So, viven. You remove the R. It's vivin, but no, vivin, no, vowel change. So, viven. Okay? So, facile. This is facile. Okay. So, if you want to write this list, this will help you a lot. So, yo ends with an O. Yo ends with an O. Tú ends with an S. El, ella, usted. Remove the R. That's it. Nosotros ends with mos. Remove the R. Put, sm put mos instead. Ustedes and ellos ends with an M. Fácil, right? So, yo amo. Yo como. Yo vivo. Tú, tú amas. Tú comes. Tú vives. Usted. Usted. Remove the R. Ama. Usted come. Usted vive. Él, ella, él ama, ella come, él vive, same rule, remove the R. Nosotros, remove the R and put mos, nosotros amamos, nosotros comemos, nosotros vivimos. Ustedes, ustedes and ellos, remember they have the same rule and it's plural, it's the two of the plural people, so they end with an N. So, ustedes. Aman, ellos aman también, ustedes comen, ellos comen, ustedes vowel change and with an end, viven, ellos viven. Ok, ok, I'm gonna let you see this. <laughs> ok, so keep this in mind, this is fácil, this is very simple, esto es muy fácil a... Uh, Conjugating regular verbs in present tense is very simple. Keep that in mind. And well, if you like this video and want to see more, I, um, you can contact me. I will leave it here on the description of the video. And I will keep uh, posting more videos to uh, help you in your journey to learn Spanish. I'm very happy to do this. And well, uh, if you like this video, like it, subscribe, and can't wait to hear from you. Bye-bye. <laughs>